This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Dreamcast recorded by a user Afropats. The material recorded is current as on the 30th of April, 2011. Dreamcast from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The Dreamcast is a video game console which was released by Sega in late 1998 and was the successor to the Sega Saturn. It was the first entry in the sixth generation of video game consoles, releasing before its contemporaries, Sony's PlayStation 2, Microsoft's Xbox, and the Nintendo GameCube. Sega discontinued the Dreamcast in North America in March 2001 and withdrew entirely from the console hardware business, making it the company's final console. However, support of the system continued in Europe and Oceania until the end of 2002, as well as Japan, where consoles were still sold until 2006, and new licensed games continued to be released. According to Bernie Stoller, former president and CEO of Sega of America, the Dreamcast was discontinued because the new chairman of Sega wanted the company to focus on software. Despite its short lifespan, the Dreamcast had received cult status for its history and features. It was widely hailed as ahead of its time and is still held in high regard for pioneering online console gaming. It was the first console to include a built-in modem and internet support for online play. As of 2011, the console is still supported through various MILCD independent releases. This article contains eight sections. They are 1. History 1.1 Development 1.2 Launch 1.3 End of Production 2. Legacy 3. Hardware 4. Accessories 5. Games 6. Models 7. References and 8. External Links The article has been provided with an information box containing material of interest to the reader. The information box has the following information. At the beginning are two images. The collective caption reads, Top, logo as used in NTSC regions. Bottom, North American Dreamcast with European controller and VMU. Type, video game console. Generation, 6th generation era. Release date, JP, November 27th, 1998. NA, September 9th, 1999. EU. October 14th, 1999. AUS. November 30th, 1999. PAL. December 3rd, 1999. Discontinued, 2001. Units sold, 10.6 million. Media. CD. 1.2 GB GD-ROM. CPU. 200 MHz Hitachi SH4 RISC. Storage capacity, VMU, Nexus memory card, zip drive, unreleased. Graphics, 100 MHz Power VR2 CLX2. Online services, SegaNet, Dream Arena. Best selling game, Sonic Adventure, 2.5 million, as of June 2006. Predecessor, Sega Saturn. Section 1 History. The material for this section has been taken from the Wikipedia article History of the Dreamcast. Section 1.1 Development In 1997, the Sega Saturn was struggling in North America, and Sega of America President Bernie Stoller was pressed by Sega's Japanese headquarters to develop a new platform. Two competing teams were tasked with developing the console, a Skunk Works group headed by IBM researcher Tatsuo Yamamoto and another team led by Sega hardware engineer Hideki Sato. Sato and his group chose the Hitachi SH4 processor architecture and the VideoLogic Power VR2 graphics processor for their prototype. Yamamoto and his Skunk Works group also opted for the SH4, but with 3D FX hardware. Initially, Sega decided to use Yamamoto's design and suggested to 3D FX that they would be using their hardware in the upcoming console, but Sega later opted to use the Power VR hardware of Sato's design. This was attributed to 3D FX leaking details and technical specifications of the then secret Dreamcast project when declaring their initial public offering in June 1997, a move which readers on GameSpy.com named one of the dumbest mistakes in video game history. Sega's shift in design prompted a lawsuit by 3DFX that was eventually settled.
The Sega's machine, no operating system, resides in the device until it is loaded on a disc with each game. The advantage, Sega executives say, is that developers can always ship products that use the version of an operating system with the newest features and performance enhancement. The operating system used by some Dreamcast titles was developed by Mar Microsoft after two years of work with Sega. It was an optimized version of Windows CE supporting DirectX. According to Richard Doherty, president of Envisioneering Group, Microsoft had initially wanted Windows CE to be Dreamcast's main operating system. It isn't. The Dreamcast's boot-up sequence was also composed by accomplished Japanese pianist Ryuchi Sakamoto. Section 1.2 Launch The Dreamcast was released in November 1998 in Japan, on September 9, 1999 in North America, and on October 14, 1999 in Europe, and November 30, 1999 in Australia. Despite problems with the Japan launch, the system's launch in the United States was successful. In the United States alone, a record 300,000 units had been pre-ordered, and Sega sold 500,000 consoles in just two weeks, including a record 225,132 sold during the first 24 hours. In fact, due to brisk sales and hardware shortages, Sega was unable to fulfill all of the advance orders. Sega confirmed that it made 98.4 million US dollars on combined hardware and software sales with the Dreamcast with its September 9, 1999 launch. Four days after its launch in the US, Sega stated 372,000 units were sold, bringing in 132 million US dollars in sales. Launch titles such as Soul Calibur, Sonic Adventure, Power Stone, and Hydro Thunder helped Dreamcast succeed in the first year. Sega sports titles helped fill the void left by a lack of electronic arts sports games on the system. Dreamcast sales grew by 156.5% from July 23, 2000 to September 30, 2000, putting Sega ahead of the Nintendo 64 in that period. However, Sony's launch of the much-hyped PlayStation 2 that year marked the beginning of the end for the Dreamcast. Section 1.3 End of Production On January 31, 2001, Sega announced that it was discontinuing Dreamcast support by March of that year. The last North American release was NHL 2K2, which was released in February 2002 with the company announcing no plans to develop a next-generation successor to Dreamcast, this was Sega's last foray into the home console business. Sega Europe continued to support the Dreamcast until summer 2002, with Big Ben Interactive publishing the last batch of PAL titles such as Evil Twin, Cyprian's Chronicles, Cannon Spike, Heavy Metal, Geomatrix Razor Freestyle Scooter, and Conflict Zone. During the following years, unreleased games like Propeller Arena, Hellgate, System Shock 2, and Half-Life were leaked onto the internet in essentially completed, playable forms. Although production of the Dreamcast ended in 2001, Sega of Japan continued selling refurbished systems and releasing new games until 2007. Many of the games were initially developed for Sega's Naomi Arcade hardware, including Sega's final first-party Dreamcast game. Sonic Team's Puyo Puyo Forever, released on February 24th, 2004. The last Dreamcast units were sold through the Sega Direct division of Japan in early 2006. These refurbished units were bundled with Rad LG and a phone card. The last Dreamcast game published by Sega of Japan were the 2007 releases Trigger Heart, Excelica, and Karoas. Three other Naomi games, Exile, Ilmatic Envelope, Il Velo, and Mamonoro, were supposed to be ported to the Dreamcast when Sega abruptly decided to discontinue the production of GD ROMs. The Dreamcast continues to be supported by homebrew developers. Thousands of freeware and open source applications have been released since the end of the production. Even after 2007, new commercial games were released, now on CD-ROM instead of GD-ROM and without official Sega license, most notably Rush Rush Rally Racing and Last Hope. Section 2 Legacy The Dreamcast introduced numerous features that would be standard to future consoles, 
All models were shipped with modems, allowing users to browse the net and play games online via dedicated server through SegaNet, Dream Arena in Europe, a precursor to services such as PlayStation Network. Choo Choo Rocket was Sonic Team's first online multiplayer game. Alien Front Online was the first online console game to feature live in-game voice chat. It also featured early downloadable content, such as items and missions, for games such as Fantasy Star Online and Skies of Arcadia. Jet Set Radio, a Dreamcast original, popularized cell-shaded graphics. Shenmue had introduced a game with vast scope, and Seaman was one of the first virtual pet games for a console. In 2009, IGN named the Dreamcast the 8th greatest video game console of all time, out of a field of 25. Independent commercial games such as Feet of Fury, Last Hope, and DUX have also been released. And on June 10, 2010, at E3, Sega announced that Dreamcast titles would soon be available on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. The first two titles to be released are Sonic Adventure and Crazy Taxi, followed by Sega Bass Fishing and Space Channel 5 Part 2. Section 3, Hardware. This section provides two images. One image has the caption, Internal view of a Dreamcast console including optical drive, power supply, controller ports, and cooling fan. The other image has the caption, Main board of a Dreamcast console. The system's processor is a 200 MHz SH4 with an on-die 128-bit vector graphics engine, 360 MIPS and 1.4 GFLOPS single precision using the vector graphics engine. The graphics hardware is a PowerVR2 CLX2 chipset capable of 7 million polygons per second peak performance and trilinear filtering. Graphics hardware effects include Gorod shading, Z-buffering, anti-aliasing, per-pixel translucency sorting, also known as order-independent translucency, and bump mapping. The system supports approximately 16.78 million colors, 24-bit color output, and displays interlaced or progressive scan video at 640 by 480 video resolution. For sound, the system features a Yamaha AICA sound processor with a 32-bit ARM7 RISC CPU operating at 45 MHz, 64-channel PCM ADPCM sampler, 4 to 1 compression, XG MIDI support, and 128-step DSP. The Dreamcast has 16 MB 64-bit 100 MHz main RAM. 8 MB 4x16 bit 100 MHz video RAM, and 2 MB 16 bit 66 MHz sound RAM. The hardware supports VQ texture compression at either asymptotically 2 BPP or even 1 BPP. The system reads media using a 12 times maximum speed, constant angular velocity, Yamaha GD ROM drive. Section 4, Accessories. The material for this section has been taken from the Wikipedia article, Dreamcast Accessories. An image is provided with the caption, The Dreamcast controller has two dock connectors for use with multiple accessories, like the VMU. Among the most notable accessories are the Dreamcast VGA adapter, which allowed Dreamcast games to be played on computer displays, or high-definition television sets in 480p, progressive scan, the vibrating jump pack, and the VMU accessory, a memory card with small screen that provided a variety of functions for various games. Also made available for specific games were the arcade stick and light gun controllers. In most regions, the Dreamcast included a removable modem. The original Asia-Japan model and all PAL models had a 33.6 kilobit per second, while consoles sold in Japan and U.S. after September 9, 1999, had a 56 kilobit per second modem. Brazilian models, manufactured under license by Tectoy, did not include a modem, which was available separately. The regular modem could be replaced with a broadband adapter that was sold separately. 
A special link cable was produced, allowing the Dreamcast to interact with the Neo Geo Pocket Color. As the Neo Geo Pocket Color was unsuccessful in Western regions, very few games took advantage of this feature. Section 5. Games Material for this section has been taken from the Wikipedia article, List of Dreamcast Games. As of November 2007, the Dreamcast has 688 official games available in its library, and unofficial independent games continue to be released by certain companies. Games were sold in jewel cases. Jewel cases in Europe were twice as thick as their North American counterparts, possibly to have space for thick, multilingual instruction manuals. Also to note, Europe's cases had two doors instead of one, like the U.S. counterparts, and could store two discs. Among the official games are Dreamcast Online games that could be played over the internet. The online servers were run by SegaNet, Dream Arena, and GameSpy Networks. Online game support was particularly popular in Japan, with releases of network-compatible games such as TechRomancer and Project Justice. Web browsers were developed by independent companies such as PlanetWeb to allow access to websites and included features like Java, uploads, movies, and mouse support. Dream Arena came with games such as Sonic Adventure and Choo Choo Rocket. There are six games that can still be played online. Quake 3 Arena and Maximum Pool are still accessible via various servers. 4x4 Evolution and Star Lancer are still online through GameSpy. Sega Swirl can be also played online with its play-by-email game. Fantasy Star Online has private servers where people can use the PAL version with an Action Replay Code Breaker boot disk to bypass the online check and connect to the server. Section 6. Models An image is provided with the caption, The Limited Edition Black Sega Sports Model. Due to its short production span, only a few official Dreamcast models were released. The primary models released in 1999 had a gray tint. The later model disk drives added more protection against piracy. In the PAL regions, the logo was blue so as to avoid a trademark dispute with the German video game DVD publisher Tivola, who already used an orange swirl as their company logo. The power light, like the Dreamcast logo in NTSC regions, was orange. Some special Dreamcast models were released in certain regions. In North America, a limited edition black Dreamcast was released, a Sega Sports logo below the Dreamcast logo on the lid with matching Sega Sports branded black controllers. Electronics Boutique offered a blue Dreamcast through its website. There were many Japan-only models made. Sega released Sakura Tyson version and a Hello Kitty version released in 2000 in Japan which, due to its limited production, has become an extremely rare collector's piece. The package contains a keyboard, controller, DMU, mouse, and a Hello Kitty trivia game. Another were the two limited edition Dreamcasts based on Capcom's Resident Evil Code Veronica game, one a clear pink Claire Redford model and DMU, and the other a clear dark view model and DMU, both including the game itself as well. The R7 model, Regulation Number 7, referring to the Regulation 7 in the Japanese Penal Code pertaining to businesses affecting public morals, consisted of a special refurbished Dreamcast unit that was originally used as a network console in Japanese pachinko parlors in a newly designed black case. The final Dreamcast models were released in gold. Section 7, References References are available in the written form of this article, but will not be read in this recording. It is recommended that you verify this information by cross-referencing with the links provided or find the information yourself. Section 8. External links. Three external links are provided in the written article that will not be read in this recording. Wikimedia Commons has media related to Sega Dreamcast. This concludes this spoken article. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0.